We're going to briefly go over the agenda of what to expect for the rest of the day. I'm going to talk to you about a few program updates, and then we'll get started with our breakout sessions. Okay? Can everyone hear me okay in the back? Is it okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay, so today's agenda, so you're the afternoon session. If you look in your brochure, it gives you a rundown of what to expect today and what the different breakout sessions are in the different rounds. Also in the back of the brochure, our list of all of our speakers that are joining us today. Um, so you can see their bios and see what they're all about. We have a really fantastic group of speakers with us today. We're very lucky that they agreed to be here. So I hope you will enjoy their different presentations. Um, so for those of you who were here for the curriculum, we have did that. We have program updates. Then we'll move into round one workshops. You'll have a five minute transition to get to your next workshop. And then we have our networking hour upstairs on the fifth floor. And that's your day. Okay. Um, each of the workshops are 40 minutes, and then you've got that five minutes in between to figure out where you want to go next. Okay, so our program updates. Hopefully you picked up the year four report um, outside. I'm going to briefly go over that, but you can take a look at it later. We have our Summer Leadership Academy nominations coming up. So for returning mentors, you'll be familiar with that, but I'm going to walk through that a bit, talk about deadlines, and then move on from there. And then Megan Williams, um, our program coordinator over at CMSD, she's going to talk to you about the out-of-school experience that the students have coming up this spring. Okay. So our year four report, um, you, can, you have this. These are just some of the highlights, so you can be looking through it and at your leisure, but it talks about our program goals, talks about how the program works, um, the different components, talks about impact, so that's a really, I think, important piece to look at when you're going through this. That impact is the result of the work you're doing with the students, and so we're seeing statistically significant impacts throughout the program years, and so we want to thank you for that. It's because of you that we're getting there, um, but take a look at that and see what your work is doing. Um, we also have some insights from kind of our different groups that we work with, so educators, students, and the business community. community. Um, we have a highlight of our four-year returning mentors. So now we're in year five. This is year five of the program, um, and some mentors have been with us every year. Um, and so we wanted to highlight them to thank them for their continued service. And then it talks about our expansion programs. So some of you be, may be familiar with them. We have the Summer Leadership Academy I'm going to talk about in a moment. We also have a ninth grade extension program, and then this year we've started, in partnership with Cleveland State, a program for 10th graders. And then next year we're going to add on 11th grade. So we continue to follow some of these students and support them as they transition into high school and then start to think about college too. So again, when you have time, take a look at that. So Summer Leadership Academy, this is our summer program that builds upon what you're doing with the 8th graders. Um, it's an emphasis on developing leaders, and it's really about engaging the students in project-based learning. There's a lot of service learning that they do, um, and really getting them to continue to work on some of these leadership skills that you've already started working with them on. Our goal is to have 50 students this summer. Um, all students get paid to be a part of the program. It's a six-week long program, and mo some of the students who are old enough will be employed through our partner Youth Opportunities Unlimited. So that'll be their summer job. Other students will give a stipend too for their work with us. Um, any student who you nominate, so we're going to ask, I'm going to walk you through the nomination process, but any student that you nominate who actually goes through our process, which includes an interview, will be, is guaranteed some type of summer opportunity. So anyone who follows through is guaranteed something. If we reach capacity in this program, we, we will find other programming for them to be a part of. It's a six week long paid summer opportunity for students. Um, it is facilitated by high school and college students. So the mentors for this program are high school and college students. There is a curriculum that focuses on um, leadership, communication, community engagement, and really gets the students out. So they do service learning projects. They'll go to the food bank and stuff bags for the food bank. They'll be out in the community doing different things to see kind of exposing them more to um, service learning. Um, small group facilitation again, so it's about 10 to 15 incoming ninth graders work in a group led by two facilitators. 
So what we're asking from you in order to make this happen is we would like each of you to nominate one student from your group. Um, and we're going to send out a nomination form to you tomorrow. You get an email for that. And so you can nominate your students. Um, you have about 10 days to do that. So you'll have one more session with them to kind of refresh your memory and think about who you want to nominate. So each mentor has the opportunity to nominate. So if you have two mentors in your group, your group could have two nominations. Okay? Uh, you'll want to talk to your mentor partner to make sure you're not nominating the same person. Right? But um, yeah, so that's what we're asking you to do. Students are not, not uh, I'm sorry, notified of their nomination at school. So we will do a personalized invitation to each student. We'll have staff go out to the school, call them down and talk to them about the program and try and encourage them to join us and apply for the program. Um, we also have a brochure that they'll get. And then basically what needs to happen for the students to be a part of the program, they have to apply and their parent or guardian has to call us and set up an interview because um, that's another skill we want them to practice, right? Going through that process of an interview. We think that's important. Um, and we'll conduct them either at our office or public library branches around the city. So these are the dates. So we'll, again, we'll, link, we'll uh, email out the link tomorrow to you. That'll come from Lindsay, I think. And then nominations are going to close on Monday, February 17th. So you have about 10 days to get that in. Um, again, talking to your mentor partner, using the next session next week to figure out which students you all want to nominate. We ask that you keep this process discreet from the students. So you have a group of 12, 15, some larger groups. We don't want anyone to feel left out, okay? So um, we want to encourage students who you want to have pursue this opportunity to do so, uh, but we don't want to disrupt your relationships with other students in order to encourage that, okay? We're looking for students that show leadership potential and a strong interest in true to you. Um, a lot of times in school, though, it seems to be the same kids always getting picked, getting the awards. We're looking for those students maybe who don't always get the award. So we want to give the opportunity to someone um, who maybe isn't the star all the time. Because this could be a really important experience for someone like that. Also, we're looking for summer facilitators. So if you know of a high school student or a college student looking for a summer job, on the nomination form, there's going to be a place where you can suggest someone we should contact for those jobs, too. Okay? Yes? Good questions. Um, we will release a list of students who are going to be part of the program, so you will get that information. We are on a tight timeline with this, so I'm not sure that you will actually have another session before we actually have to do the cutoff because we're part of YOU's uh, Youth Opportunities Unlimited timeline. Um, but you can always ask, follow up with us. We also will send reminders to teachers and ask them to follow up with certain students if we haven't heard from them. So there is some type of reminder that goes out to the students. Um, and if a student comes in after that YOU deadline, that doesn't mean they can't be part of the program. That they would probably just become a stipend student for us and we would take care of them that way. Yes? How is a nominated student made aware that they've been nominated? So we do a um, personal... We, we wouldn't tell. No, you, you don't have to tell them. We have staff that goes out to the school, talks to all of them, walks them through the process of what they need to do in order to... So we make sure that we speak to every student that gets nominated. Um, so we're actually driving out to the school. Yes? Um, I don't know if we've included a ranking or anything like that this time. Not necessarily a ranking, but yeah. just give an alternate student's One name. One or two. Like, like if this student is not able for some reason to meet the interviews or meet the criteria, that that next student can be chosen. We'll definitely consider that. Yeah. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, so that's how it's going to work, basically. All right, any other questions on that? So you can look for that email tomorrow, and then you have until the 17th to send in your name. And we'll send a reminder, too, but yes. Last year when we had uh, the young man that we had last year, one of the problems we found out later that he could not get to the program yet. You know, financial issues where he couldn't get to the program. Are you guys going to be able to help these students once we nominate them? They saying yes, the parents are good, but hey, we don't have the money to, to get them there to you know to do all the things. Is that possible? Yeah, so we provide uh, bus tickets for all of the students. 
in the program. We provide lunch for all of the students and all of the field trips are paid for. So they are, they are receiving bus tickets if they, as long as they follow through on the process. Mm -hmm.